Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Ball and Burgers. So today, in honor of Star Wars still, I'm still on that Star Wars hype, I'm going to kind of touch a little bit on Battlefront. So Star Wars Battlefront was a big hyped up game for everybody just because the fact that there is a new Star Wars movie coming out. So everybody was really excited and everybody loved the original Battlefront games. There was so much going for them that was great. And so everybody assumed that this one's going to continue off of it where it is not the same creators of the original game. So there are some parts left out, but it is an amazing game overall. So don't let that fool you because originally I was not going to buy the game just for the fact that it didn't have a couple of things that I really wanted, which pretty pretty much centered around galactic battles and the space battles. So for your galactic battles, your galactic wars, you would basically just hop around different planets and win or lose the certain checkpoints to certain planets and that would end up to the game. Kind of how an evacuation works in Evolve. You play, you know, a couple of different areas and to a final thing at the end, whoever has the most won. So you're trying to be the rebels or the Imperials and taking over the solar system, the galaxy basically. Well, they don't have that feature in the new Battlefront, which is disappointing, but they do have similar modes almost where you start, on, it's, there's different sections on each map and you're fighting around and trying to win those certain sections. Now, it's not the same exactly, but it is kind of along the same premise as how those were originally formed. It's just not on a galactic scale, but it still is very fun. The other thing you're really missing out on is these space battles which basically centered around you trying to either defend or destroy the Imperial Star Destroyers. Now, while that was an awesome thing, there was kind of a little bit of misconception that you were not even going to be able to play in these spaceships. Now, you don't have space battles exactly, but there are some battles that are just literally centered around being in a spaceship. So it's not in outer space, you're not trying to destroy an Imperial Star Destroyer, but you're just trying to kill everybody else that's there. That is not the only thing you can do with the spaceships. I mean, when you're on a regular planet, a regular battle, you can even get in the X-Wings or, you know, the other ones and the TIE Fighters throughout the map, depending on what side you are, with special pickups. There are some special pickups laying around where you can get your heroes or special weapons, and one of them happens to be the spaceships. So you run over that... You can deploy it and you're flying around the whole time until your spaceship gets destroyed. Now, that doesn't really center around, again, a space battle, but you do get to use the spaceships in actual battle besides specifically designated maps for it. So that is kind of an interesting thing. There are quite a plethora of vehicles that you get to, you know, ride around on, which actually makes up for a lot of the fact that they don't have space battles. So it kind of, you know, there's certain things in the game that you wish they had that they don't. And there's other ones that you never even would have imagined having and you get that. So there's, you know, there's pros and cons to this new one. And I definitely think that it's worth checking out. It is a lot of fun. They have a, a special thing called the hero battles where, you know, I know the other ones where if you did good enough, you could become one of the heroes. But now you can, like, again, it's another special pickup. You can get that if you find it, which is pretty nice because what if I'm, you know, just terrible at the game and I really want to play as Luke Skywalker? Well, if I happen to cross it, I get to play as him until I die. The other, what I was saying is before is the hero battle is basically there's three heroes on each side in the entire game. So basically you and two other buddies can decide, you know what, I really want to be on the Sith side today. I'm going to go online and take out some rebel scum. Well, you three get to pick from Emperor Palpatine, Darth Vader, and Boba Fett, and you literally have another army behind you and you're trying to take out Princess Leia, Han Solo, and Luke Skywalker. And whichever side kills the three heroes first wins. And that's another one where you just keep battling and battling and battling until one side wins enough and then the game ends. And that is, I mean, that is all kinds of fun. Even just playing one hero versus one hero offline with your buddy is a lot of fun too. It gets into, I played maybe a couple hours doing that and that kept me busy a lot. I think the biggest positive to this Star Wars Battlefront is that there's still a lot of couch co-op activities to do in the game. You can either play against your buddy or even with him. And it leads to a lot of times that you, you know... Just kill some time, you're bored, you want to do something really quick, you play some split screen, or even you just want to, you know, do a couple of missions together, which is really nice because not a lot of games have that anymore, so that is another really big point to go out and actually buy that game. 
the overall, a lot of the things that people were really harping on missing, like I was one of them because I was really disappointed and I wasn't going to buy it, but I actually played the game and I love it and I'm definitely getting it now. So I would definitely recommend you guys to go out and try it. Other than that, I would just want to keep talking about Star Wars and there's not really a whole lot more to say that I haven't said before and I'm going to see the movie tomorrow. So I may make a video about the movie and just make it a complete spoiler video. So either you can watch it if you don't really care about the movie that much and you just want to kind of find out what's going on, or after you watch it, you can come and watch the video to see what my thoughts were on it and some of the crazy plot twists that I'm sure there's going to be in there. But uh, that will definitely have to be labeled as spoiler because I know I'm going to want to talk about it and I don't want to spoil it for everybody because that would totally ruin somebody's weekend if they're a big fan like me. Hope you guys enjoyed my Star Wars Battlefront ramble and are stoked for my spoiler video. That will come in a couple of days. And other than that, I will let you guys go. Enjoy your weekend. And I hope all of you are going out to see Star Wars.